Men, I was wrong. I hope it feels good to hear a woman say that. If you need to hear a woman say that she was wrong, feel free to go back and just rewind and repeat that. I was wrong. I was wrong, in all seriousness, about something that could have some negative consequences for your health. And so I wanna take a moment, I'm gonna use this video to clean something up with you and give you the latest science and the latest data on how your masturbation, how your ejaculations contribute to your health and longevity. And I'm gonna recommend a new number of times per month that you should be coming. I'm gonna have a hard time balancing seriousness with not seriousness on this one. It's, it's, it's not a joke, but like, do you ever see the pterodactyl porn? Tell me you were a millennial without telling me you're a millennial. I have new recommendations about semen retention. Very recently, when I was on the set of my Hard As You Want course on erectile dysfunction, a very wonderful woman named Erica Lee Roy, penis expert, clued me in on some new and important information on this subject. So I made a previous video on semen retention just a couple years ago. And since then I've learned some new and important things that are important for you, particularly the well-being of your prostate and the prevention of prostate cancer. The story of semen retention and my new thinking on your optimal masturbation routine starts in a sort of unexpected place, the prostate gland. This small gland is responsible for producing the seminal fluid that nourishes and protects sperm during ejaculation. It's also known as the male G-spot and more on that in just a minute. But it's more than just a little walnut shaped pleasure button tucked two to three inches into your booty. It is also the home of a very common health condition. Since as men age, the risk of developing prostate cancer increases, it is important to take proactive steps to protect your prostate health. And while there is no guaranteed way to prevent prostate cancer, there is growing evidence that regularly ejaculating may help to reduce the risk. Cue the excited screams from men everywhere. Yay! It's fireworks, but it's jizz. In my previous video, I was talking all about semen retention. In other words, not ejaculating on purpose. And to be honest, I actually think that some men really do benefit greatly from semen retention. But I no longer recommend that for the majority of men, and I do not recommend that you undergo semen retention for more than, say, three to four weeks at a time annually. That means if you want to do NoFap November, Bravo, love that for you, but don't make it no fap 2024, okay? This is because the average man, and this is the part that I didn't get before, the average man, your lifestyle simply doesn't support it. If you're not, you know, eating all food that you grew yourself a thousand miles from the closest factory, like this is true for you too. We live with so many toxins today that the benefits of flushing your prostate consciously and regularly and frequently actually outweigh the gains of not doing so. The reason that I recommended semen retention is to enhance your sexual power, to enhance your ability to feel, to connect energetically with your partner, and to put your energy towards other things. But the truth is that there are other ways to do that. You can get that result and still be ejaculating on a regular basis. So let's talk straight up about the risks and the downsides of not ejaculating, and then we'll talk about the rest. Risk number one, increased risk of prostate cancer. According to the American Cancer Society, a new man gets diagnosed with prostate cancer every 2.7 minutes. So yeah, boys, this is serious. And one way to maintain a healthy prostate is through regular Yay! ejaculation. This is likely because ejaculation helps to flush out toxins and other harmful substances from the prostate gland. Prostate cancer is one of the most common types of cancer among men, and early detection is key to successful treatment. Risk number two, prostate enlargement. Not ejaculating regularly may lead to the prostate actually getting bigger, which can cause discomfort and urinary problems and other sexual health problems. Number three, erectile dysfunction. Not using your penis regularly may lead to decreased blood flow and ED. This is actually a case of use it or lose it. And if you're feeling at risk of losing it or you're already noticing some ED, please 
go into the links below and check out my hard as you want course on getting and staying hard. It is the culmination of everything that I have learned by working with hundreds of clients and helping them to overcome their erectile dysfunction, whether it was physical, mental, psychological, emotional in nature. I have pinpointed 45 different causes of ED in men and made it extremely easy and simple for you to identify yours and then giving you everything that you need in order to actually address it. Plus it comes with a 90 day money back guarantee. So if it doesn't work for you or you just don't like it or you just like change your mind, no questions asked, We'll give you a full refund. Check it out. Your sex life is worth it. Next, number four, decreased sperm quality. Not ejaculating regularly may result in decreased sperm quality, which can obviously affect fertility. Number five, emotional dysregulation. It's no secret that nutting helps relieve stress. Case closed. Number six, unwanted thoughts. The longer you go without release, the more likely you are to experience unwanted fantasies, those freaking stepsister fantasies and find their way in there. And maybe you want those, maybe you don't. But whatever it is that you feel shame or you feel guilt about tends to sneak its way into your dreams, into your fantasies, into your desires, the longer that you go without orgasming, unless of course you are doing the sexual transformation techniques or transmutation techniques that we'll talk about in just a second. Number seven, relationship stress. Sexual frustration and the pressure to abstain from ejaculation can cause tension. It can make you tense and then you bring that tense into your partnership. It can cause strain. It can potentially lead to misunderstandings. It's added stuff. Again, unless you're consciously dealing with it, you're just choosing not to ejaculate, but not doing anything with that extra energy it's gonna go somewhere and it's likely gonna cause problems. And then number eight, reduced sexual function. Not using your sexual organs can lead to decreased sexual function and decreased desire. It doesn't evenly apply to all men, but it is important to name that regular ejaculation, ejaculation, ejaculation. It is clear that regular ejaculation is important for maintaining optimal prostate health and sexual functioning. Here are some ways to increase the frequency of your fireworks. Number one, masturbate regularly. Masturbation is the best way to increase your frequency of ejaculation because you're in control, you can choose it, you can do it when it's convenient for you, you don't need anybody else to be there. All you really need is like some privacy and some lube. Please, for the love of God, use lube. I, I hate having to tell you guys this, but fucking use loop. Conscious masturbation is better than any old masturbation. That means putting away the porn and being present with yourself. Being able to experience your body in an arousal state, being able to get aroused without needing anything outside of yourself is a gift that you can give to yourself. If you've been using porn for a long time, it may take some time to be able to get to that place. Watch my videos on decreasing your porn use and porn addiction for a step-by-step -step guide on how to move away from porn. Number two, have sex regularly, obviously. Having sex with a partner is a great way to increase your frequency of ejaculation and to improve your overall sexual health and to improve your overall physical health and to improve the connection that you have with your wife or your spouse or your partner and to improve the world overall because if you're busy having sex, I think that you're raising the frequency of the planet and making the world a better place as long as it's great pleasurable sex, which I know that it is because you're subscribed to this channel and so you know how to be the best lover she has ever had. Number three, experiment with new positions or techniques to keep things interesting and increase your desire to ejaculate. This is true for both solo sex and partner sex. Check out my YouTube series on the erotic blueprints. There is a boatload of erotic inspiration in ways that you haven't even considered and just changing it up, doing stuff that maybe is kinky, maybe it's interesting. Maybe you just change the position or the room that you're jerking off in. Maybe you set a timer or a clock and you try to beat your previous record. Maybe you go out deep into the woods behind your house where you know that nobody else is gonna see you and nothing that you're doing is illegal and you just like whack it all day in there. I love that for you. Go have fun, make it interesting. You gotta get your 21 times in a month, okay? Like don't make all 21 exactly the same, right? What's the fun of that? I mean, I could eat gluten-free frozen pizza 21 times a month, but I eat other meals too. And of course, while you're doing this, make sure that you are eating well, that you're exercising, that you're hydrating, that you're taking care of your body. And if you need my support, apply for coaching. Me and the Team V coaches can support you in this and anything else that relates to sex and relationships.
Okay, on the subject of prostate health, let's talk about how you can optimize your prostate health and reduce your risk of developing prostate cancer. Number one, ejaculate 21 or more times a month. One study found that men who ejaculated at least 21 times per month had a 20% lower risk of developing prostate cancer compared to men who ejaculated less frequently. Number two, eat a healthy diet that is high in fruits, vegetables, low in red and processed meat. This is just the cancer guidelines, y'all. Don't come for me in the comments. Get regular exercise. Regular exercise helps improve prostate health and reduces the risk of prostate cancer and a whole bunch of other stuff. Practice safer sex. Sexually transmitted infections can increase the risk of prostate cancer, so practice safe sex, get tested regularly. And then obviously go to see your doctor. Regular prostate exams can help to detect prostate cancer early when it is most treatable. In conclusion, not ejaculating frequently can lead to a number of risks and downsides. Ejaculating frequently can lead to a number of really great things, including enhanced creativity and connection. In order to maintain optimal prostate health and reduce your risk of prostate cancer, get those Firework going, check out the pterodactyl porn. That's sure gonna get at least one person watching this video off. And make sure that inside of that constant masturbation practice, that instead of pulling that energy up, like I said in the semen retention video, that you are dedicating it to something as you shoot it out. Manifest something. Try to manifest a fucking boat or something, like, you know? Ma manifest me a boat. Every time you jack off, think of sending me a yacht. That was the briefest introduction to self magic, but let's try it. If a thousand plus guys watch this video and all of you think, get Caitlin V on a yacht, it's, I'm, I'll bet you anything that it happens. And if you don't believe me, jack off twice, okay? Thanks, love you. I'll see you here next week. Bye.